A close call. Firefighters saying tonight luck was on their side after several oxygen tanks did not explode in a huge fire at a White County apartment complex today. It happened at the Kensett Housing Authority off Wilbur D. Mills Avenue. Fox 16's Mitch McCoy in studio tonight with a closer look at how a man first on the scene did his best to try and control those flames. Mitch? Yeah, Kevin, good evening. A maintenance man says he used a garden hose and started knocking on neighbors' doors to alert people of the fast-moving fire. While firefighters pack their gear, a hole in the roof reflects what happened a few hours before. Get everybody out and make sure everybody was safe. Floyd Hayden works in maintenance at the Kensett Housing Authority. He says he tried putting the flames out before firefighters arrived with a garden hose. And I just started spraying what I could with the fire hose, and which was no battle. I couldn't do anything. It could have got really bad. Kensett Fire Captain Andrew Allwhite says there were several oxygen tanks inside one of the apartment units, which forced nearby people to evacuate. They could have exploded and it could have caused more fires. Uh, we're glad that it, the wind's not blowing because it would have been a really a wind-driven fire then. It's a mystery. There's no word what sparked the flames, but Hayden says no one was in the unit where the fire started because she recently moved. They've been in a nursing home for the past two weeks and the power was shut off. Hayden says he's thankful no one was hurt and everyone got out in the nick of time. She got out and then it just quickly came over to her unit. So she was, got out in time. The Kensett Fire Department says it's thankful for nearby agencies that responded to help because they are a volunteer department and some firefighters were at their daytime jobs when all of this happened today. Give us a better perspective. Uh, was this contained to one unit? Did it spread to other areas? And, and how many people or units were overall affected? So we know of at least two apartments that were completely destroyed. We know that another suffered some smoke and water damage. Uh, we do know that there were um, there was one person that uh, lives in the apartment right next door to the uh, other apartment that that homeowner is in a nursing home. We're told that um, she was able to get out with her aid. And Good. so uh, we do know that she is uh, sleeping with, with other family tonight, but w it's really unknown on how many people were inside that unit that had uh, water or smoke damage. It'll be interesting to see what they come up with as a cause. There's, it's a big mystery, and that's exactly what they're saying. All right. Keep us posted, yep. Mitch. Thanks.